What up, y'all? It's your boy, Chef Trey Strong, and so welcome to the Elevator Chef. Now, today, we're back in the kitchen, and we getting a little bit, you know how I like to twist them up, make them a little bit more dang. It's a special blend. We're gonna be making some nachos, but they're gonna be couch lock potato chip nachos. The couch lock is strong on this one. Ooh, let's go, let's head to the kitchen. So for this recipe, I'll be using some ground beef, some olives, some Velveeta, potatoes, tomatoes, and onion, infusing with our 420 EVOO, some shredded cheese, and some cut up bell peppers. Add your meat to a saute pan over medium to high heat. Kind of break up your meat as you add it to the pan so it doesn't turn into one big hamburger. And then add some seasoning to your meat. I made my own blend of kind of taco seasoning, but you could use the packet joint for sure. And then cut up your tomatoes nice and diced. And then also dice your onions on your ones. Once your meat is all cooked off, you can set it out of the pan and set it to the side. And then wash and rinse. Rinse and wash your potatoes. Since we'll be slicing them with skins on. Nice and thin so that they cook evenly and quickly. Turn your pan to that medium high heat and add your infused EVOO. Make sure that's nice and hot and do your water test. Once your oil is nice and hot, you can begin to add your potato slices and lightly pan fry them. You want good motion in your pan. That's key to frying. That's why you always see the fry guy who's on point shaking the basket so that everything cooks evenly and doesn't turn into one big greasy puck. Once you see that brown start to happen on your old potatoes, your taters, you can reserve them to the side on a paper towel. Helps soak up some of that grease and reserve some of that crisp. Once you've reserved your potatoes, be sure to salt them as they come off, adding that flavor, which is crucial to be that. Then start on your cheese sauce, add your Velveeta, and then a little bit of your shredded cheese. And I add a little splash or dash or two of some milk. And 
and then slap that in the old chef mic for about two minutes. And take it out and whip it real good, whip it, whip it real good. And then add a little bit of each one of my ingredients to my blended cheese sauce mixture. Just a splash of all them flavors coming together, making an absolutely on point cheese for your knees sauce. Boss. Bars. If you're not hungry yet, I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you. you. You have no stomach. Once your cheese sauce is all good, get your potatoes lined up and lay your back all them good flavors one by one. Get your meat. Your leaning tower of cheese, sir. If you please, sir. Peppers, the onion, your tomato, tomato. some lettuce you know because we we try to be healthy around here you know a little bit of that cheddar a couple of olives a good old squeeze of the sour cream and we are ready for this munchy sensation in the nation the grow me foodie foodie grow me nation So much dankness on the plank jaw, I can't even tell you. I ate the whole thing. And I don't even remember it. Hey, so these are not your grandmama's nachos, okay? How you know, Grandma? These things are next level. So just be careful, it's one of those dangerously, dankishly delicious recipes, y'all. Go home, make it right now. Appreciate everybody for hitting into this, tapping into this video, hitting the like button, leaving a comment of something you might want to see me make. You know, and it is stay lifted and elevated, y'all.